Good afternoon and welcome to another episode of Bubbles and Brass, Brass and Bubbles, where we drink bubbles while we talk um, sports brass and brass in general. And um, basically, it's just an excuse to finish up the week. It's 3.30, 4.30 if you're not in Queensland. And it is an amazing time to just sit, reflect on the week, just think about what happened this week and all your um, celebrations for all your wins, all the things that you're proud of, and to think about everything that you want to do differently uh, next week. But first, let's have some bubbles. This week, I have another Prosecco. So I will share my screen so I can share with you um, what I have in stock for you. So today, we have another um, Prosecco from the foothills of the Alps, which is basically where Prosecco is from because you need it to be cold climate. So this Prosecco, if you can see it, is from the Alps, so the northern part of Italy. And apparently it's perfect for afternoon sipping. So I thought, you know, why not? Why not have this lovely... My Italian is terrible, but it's Ter di Gioia. Sounds Italian? Anyway, that's what we're having. Um, my husband, who's also in my office here, because we share an office at home, um, actually complained last week that I didn't pour him a glass, so I'm going to have to pour him a glass as well. So if you're um, at home and you feel like just relaxing, kicking back, enjoying this Friday afternoon, having a glass of bubbles, can be Pellegrino, can be bubbly water, um, whatever takes your fancy glass of cider or whatever. It doesn't have to be um, alcoholic. It's just bubbles. It didn't say alcohol and brass. It said bubbles and brass. So let's see how we go. We're not supposed to pop it. Oops, we did pop it. Okay. And my dog will be here in three, two, one. One, and there she is, because <laughs> she always likes to play with, not this one, yes, okay, she always likes to play with the corks, so that's always her thing, so let's have a look, okay, so the other thing I wanted to have a chat with you, this one is for my husband, by the way, because I don't want to make him angry, thank you, darling, I know that guys always say happy wife, happy life, which is totally true, happy me, but happy husband is just as important anyway what i wanted to have a chat with you about today is introducing culin to you because you've you've been around culin you've you know you've tried the brass or maybe purchased the brass or have seen all our facebook posts or have seen the mailchimp emails i send out every friday but you may not really be that um familiar with Kulin as a brand because it's not a really large brand. I'm going to take this um, screen sharing off now. So Kulin as a brand, cheers by the way, started in 2012. So it's quite young. It's, it's, it's a really young brand for sports brass and it started in the Netherlands as um, purely because there was a group of horse riders, female horse riders, um, having a glass of bubbles on the weekend and most of them are eventing riders so you know what it's like after a day or after you finish your eventing competition oh this is nice so they were sitting down and complaining about sports bras sports bras in general for riding because a lot of the sports bras the uh, straps slide off they're very tight here uh, across your ribs so you can't breathe um underwire that's digging in so there were a lot of things that they didn't like about the brass but you know sitting down together um as a bunch of girls do they were like right let's change this let's create a new sports bra a sports bra that actually works and a sports bra that works for us and that is comfortable to wear is supportive um just does everything that it's supposed to be doing and doesn't hurt so 2012 came along it took them two years so 2010 to 2012 is when they took to design the very first sports bra which was the athens 
A for Athens and the Amsterdam, A for Amsterdam. So that was the very first series of the Q-Lane sports bras designed specifically for horse riding. And all the bras have always been testing in the saddle. So every time when there's a new series that came out, like after the A for Amsterdam and Athens came the B for Barcelona, and then last year we had the C for Cannes, every time it's tested for running, for tennis, but also for horse riding, specifically for horse riding, because a horse riding sports bra needs something different. And, you know, if, if you want to ask me some questions specifically around riding or uh, bras for certain sports or whatever, just plop it in the chat and, you know, we can have a, we can have a chat about that as well. But originally it was a horse riding sports bra with the Amsterdam and the Athens. I found, like I, Ivanka, I found the bra in the Netherlands in 2012 and I immediately thought this has to come to Australia. This has to come to Australia because there are so many Australian women that are super active, women on properties in rural areas, a lot of horse riders, and not just for like 30 minutes a day or an hour a day, but there's so many women here in Australia that really rely on a comfortable sports bra that really does what it's supposed to do, a sports bra that is super um, supportive, you know, for lack of a better word. And that's where I started stalking the owner of Qlim to ask him, because he's a he, um, to ask him if he had any plans to go to Australia. He had not. He did not have any plans to go to Australia. So I asked him if he would mind if I brought the Qlim bras to, um, to Australia. And he actually quite liked that idea. So that's why from 2012, the Qlin sports bras have been in Australia, originally only Athens and Amsterdam. So learning from what Australian women need, lear learning from what Australian women want, we as Qlin Australia have been very involved with the development of specifically the Barcelona bra, but also the fact that the Amsterdam bra is now available up to a double D cup. Originally, it was only up to a D cup. So let me show you the Amsterdam, how it currently stands. So this is the Amsterdam bra in the three colors. See these three colors? So this is the violet ice color. Then we have the light blue that I showed you last week. And then there's the steel gray. And it's absolutely beautiful. So these bras, the violet ice color, if you are interested in the, bus of, in the Amsterdam bra, be aware that the cup is quite generous. So if you're in between cup sizes or you're not 100% sure, go down in a cup. So if you know, like I normally wear a D to a double D cup. When I buy an Amsterdam bra, I buy a C, sometimes a D cup. So I go down a full cup size because this is, quite, because it's quite wide, it's oval shaped. So that makes for a very generous cup size. So there's a lot of coverage because it goes quite round over the top. It is oval shaped, so it goes more under the armpit for additional support. What I love about this bra is that you can wear it as a normal bra, but you can also clip it in as a racer bag. So for riding, so I wear this, and as I said, I am a, depending on how much cheese I've had, I'm either a, 12D or a 10 double D, depending. Um, but it, when I wear this bra for competitions or for horse riding, um, I always hook it in in the back. If I wear this bra um, for normal day to day stuff for yoga, Pilates, or you know, sort of medium intensity, lawn mowing, ride on mower. I wear my, G, uh, my Qlin um, sports bras for um, my ride on mowing because uh, it bounces. So then I wear the Amsterdam bra just normally. But for riding, I clip them in the back. And what that does, the moment you clip it in the back, see this little flap of fabric here? That sort of acts as a hammock. So the moment you clip it in, that tightens up and really supports your breasts from the outside. 
And that gives you that extra level of comfort and support without it being super squishy and super constricted. So that's that's the secret of the Amsterdam bra. I had a lady this morning asking about padding. And as you can see, well, maybe you can't, but can you see how thick that is? So there is a bit of padding. So if you have issues with um, things coming through, like nipples coming through your uh, bras, the Amsterdam is a really, really good bra to wear. But be aware, it's quite generous. So go down a cup size. Um, there is a sizing chart on the website. So always use the sizing chart and or ask us. We do virtual fittings as well, so we can walk you through the entire process. Um, yeah, so this beautiful color, violet ice. I don't know if you can see it. Hang on, let me just put a smelly candle next to it. Like, see how beautiful that is? It's really, really nice. Pretty invisible under white. Then there is this light blue, baby blue, light blue. Same thing, it's the exact same design, just a, a different color. And then you have the steel gray, which is like a shimmery, almost like a silvery, silvery gray. So that's really beautiful. And then they come with, look at these. See how last week I talked about the wash bags? So every bra and every piece of underwear comes with their own little wash bag. Isn't that cute? So it's a cute little wash bag. So this one is the violet ice color. So this is the lady boxer. So lady boxer, violet ice goes with the violet ice Amsterdam. <laughs> Amsterdam sports bra. So if you like your matchy matchy underwear, you have your sports bra with, um, with the underwear. These undies, because remember how I said it started off as a horse riding brand. If you ride horses or when you ride horses, when you ride bikes, motorbikes, anything where you actually have to sit in a saddle, you know how painful it can be if this part in the leg starts to dig in. If there's a lot of um, stitching in this part of the leg, that can really, really hurt. So what we've done with the Qlin underwear is we've put, I don't want to put it in the, see that? So that little strip is not stitched. It's glued and it sticks to your body so it doesn't ride up, but it doesn't hurt either. So you don't get that really horrible chafing, especially in summer. So this is material is a hollow fiber material. It's a um, performance material. So all the moisture gets wicked away from your body and it is super comfortable to wear. So this is the Lady Boxer also available in a G-string. Goes fantastically well with the Amsterdam bra. So that's so that's pretty much the first bra that Hulane designed. Then, because of um, Australia, because of us, Australian women or women in Australia, um, we wanted larger sizes. So I needed larger sizes and the Barcelona also took us two years. The Barcelona bra was created and that one now goes up to a 20H. So the Barcelona bra, let's stick with the violet ice color scheme. So this is the wash bag for the bra. See how large it is and it comes with a zipper. I'm hoping this is the, yeah. Um, comes with a zipper so it doesn't open up when you um, when you wash it. So this is the Barcelona bra in the violet ice color. And as you can see, this bra is designed for larger cup sizes. So it has a lot of coverage here. Because again, when you're riding horses, when you're bouncing about on your on your lawnmower or your on your motorbike or your, your trail bike or whatever it is that you do. There's a lot of movement on the top of your breasts when you when you go up into your cup sizes. So that's why there's this fabric here to stop that from happening. And then at the back, you have that amazing bikini clip that turns into a uh, like a T-bar um, to really help support the weight of your breasts across the entire back. So that really helps with... Um, bringing all the weight down so it doesn't just hang off your shoulders. So again, violet eyes, pretty much invisible under white. 
However, as you can see, there's this gorgeous lace over the top. So if you wear really tight tops, the, the lace will show. So it's not the color that shows, but it's actually the, the structure of the, of the fabric that will show. But um, yeah, so that's the Barcelona bra. And because of Australia, this bra exists. If it was just the Netherlands, if it was just Europe, they would never even thought about making this bra. So this is our bra, girls. We made this one. This is the Australian invention for comfort and support up to a 22G and a 20H. So well, when I said the Amsterdam goes really is really generous in the cup, this is a true fitting. So really important that you measure yourself when you want to purchase the Barcelona bra. If, however, it comes to your place, you, you have it delivered and it doesn't fit, that's not a problem. Just send it back and we'll, we'll send you another one. Or go for the try at home pack where you put a deposit down for two bras and we send you five so you can try however many times until you find the perfect fit okay all that talking i need to get some more bubbles now let's get to the discount of the weekend because we had the athens and amsterdam so that was our first series of bras then we had the barcelona so that was the second series of brown the barcelona is available in violet eyes in olive and in anthracite. So those are the three colors for the Barcelona bra. But then we got a lot of questions from people asked because more and more people are using it that are not horse riders and people were really wearing it all day, every day. And you guys were asking for wireless bras. So bras without underwire. And that became this one, also in a wash bag, in two colors, in black and in, oh, hang on, this is the wrong one. Duh. This is not the correct one, it's this one. Same bag, different bra. Uh, two colors in black. And my favorite, I mean, this is like Christmas. It's so beautiful, this color. Look at that. Isn't that pretty? I'll just show. It's like a deep, shimmery red. It has the diamante and a little bit of lace, but not over the top. This bra gives, some people say even that it's better support than the Barcelona, even though it doesn't have the T-bar. Um, this bra gives amazing support up to and including H cup. So this one goes up to a 22 H. For now, because you have the scoop guys, this bra, is currently on its way well almost it's in the container hopefully it goes on the ocean next week on its way to uh, to brisbane um in size 24 and 26. so we currently have this bra up to a size 22 so 22 h it will go to a 24 and a 26. so it will go 20, um, 24H, 26G, uh, no, 22H, I'll figure it out. But <laughs> there's um, 22H, 24G, and um, 26F, that's it. So that's the, um, that's the sizing that we're going to offer for the Khan sports bras. And because of that, because I am, although I'm stumbling over my words, I'm super excited about this. This weekend, if you order, not if, when, when you order your Khan sports bra, your second bra, you'll get 25% off. So you have the deep red and you have the black. So use the code bubbles, which gives me time to take another sip. So capital B, Bubbles 1102, 1102, I should say, for 20% off your second Khan bra when you order it this weekend. And we've been talking about undies. So let's not stop with the undies for the Barcelona bra. There's also matching Lady Boxer undies for the Khan bra. 
I mean, look how pretty that is. Yeah. <laughs> At least I think I'm, I'm totally in love with this color, by the way. There's also the G-string. Ta-da! Available in black and in the deep red. And the G-strings and the lady boxes are also available in the olive color to go with the olive Barcelona. I mean, again, look how shimmery and pretty that is. It's just so, the material is just so soft. It's so amazing. I love it. So, yeah, so that's what I wanted to have a chat with you about today. Um, a little bit of history lesson, like where the Kulin come from. It was originally in horse riding um, sports bra brand, but it's now gone way beyond um, horse riding. It is um, It's actually going to be, if you are into horse riding, it's going to be at the World Equestrian Games in Denmark this year. So if you are going over there, you, um, well, ideally you buy your bras here and take them over there to be comfortable during your um, during the flights. Um, but they are going to have a, um, a stall there as well. Um, yeah, so that's what I wanted to, uh, to talk to you about. The um, sequence of the bras, A for Athens and Amsterdam, B for Barcelona, C for calm, and um, who knows what's going to be next. So if you want your calm bra, um, order it this weekend. Get 25% off your second bra. Um, the, those of you who received their weekly email today, there's another code in your email. Uh, if you don't want to buy a calm bra but you want to buy something else, uh, check your email, check your inbox. Anywho, that's it for me today. I will talk to you next week. And, um, yeah, send me some questions if there's anything you would like to know, if you, anything you would like to hear uh, or you want me to talk about. And um, uh, you can email that or um, just go to um, our website, qlin.com.au, and there's a form there that you can fill out with, uh, with any and all of your questions. So that's it for me today. Have an amazing weekend. I hope you get to enjoy the outdoors, get to do some walks in nature, um, enjoy your exercise and or have play with your horses. Talk to you soon. Bye.